Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI. This is a 56-year-old male who has history of prior ACL sprain and some laxity of the knee. And he comes in for an MRI. And this is an original MRI that was done five years ago. We see the femur up high here. We see the kneecap in the front. We just did a limited examination on him in the original one. He has a little bit of bone marrow edema here with the patellar tendon attachments. He had an injury here. And the ACL comes obliquely from the back of the femur here to the front of the tibia. Here's the tibia. So this is the ACL. And on this original exam, we see the ACL was not ruptured, but the proximal portion near the femur was enlarged, foggy. There was a little bit of laxity. Normally, normally this would be more vertically oriented. Here was more horizontal here, and then it went vertical. So he had a mild or mild to moderate sprain of the ACL previously. Also on this prior examination, we notice if you draw a line from the back of the femur, down the tibia down here. Normally the back of the tibia will come really close to this line. So the tibia was shifted forward. We call that anterior tibial translation and that's related to the ACL being lax and it allows the tibia to move forward. So the ACL laxity from the sprain here with a little bit of anterior tibial translation which we notice if we go on the lateral side drop the line from the lateral femur straight down and again, the tibia should be very close to that. Now we're going to come to the examination for today. Five years later, he comes in to look at this again. He had a small meniscus tear here, by the way. And now this is the current examination five years later. He said his knee feels a little lax. Look, it feels like the tibia does shift too far forward. And in this view, we see the ACL looking nice and dark. So there's no fogginess as there was previously. This is intact, no evidence of a tear. But we do know that the ACL is a little bit horizontal here. And we're going to go over to the medial side. There's a small meniscus tear along the inner margin. This is the meniscus. Should look nice and triangular. Instead, it looks more flat and blunted. And we're going to go on the lateral side and measure that line down. And here it is. This is the line from the back down. And again, this is shifted forward. So we have anterior tibial translation related to that ACL laxity that's probably chronic related to that old sprain, but there's no evidence of ACL rupture. This is another view where we see that anterior cruciate ligament right here, nice and dark, and it comes from the back of the femur, obliquely down to the tibia. This is the posterior cruciate ligament back here. It looks good. So uh, an examination that shows an old ACL sprain with laxity and anterior tubular translation, and then again, um, anterior tubular translation, but the, the ACL has healed no evidence of a tear.